the future of Miraculous. Hey guys, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the future of Miraculous, obviously. So, what do I? Uh, so first off, we need to talk about the seasons so far. Season one was kind of a setup. It was basically just getting the fans ready to see, hey, yeah. Here's this stuff. Do you like it? Cool. If you do, we'll make more. That's it. That's all it was. Um, like, obviously, they had some plan, but they didn't necessarily know all of it yet. They were kind of just setting up, hey, this might be cool to, uh, to do later. Let's put that there. Do, 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 and we're good. And that's basically all they did. Um, season 2 was less... It was a bit more... But mostly what it was, was it was the Chloe arc. Basically what it was, was that um, Chloe was built up as a character to make her seem less like a little whiny bee. <clears throat> and more of a decent human being. Obviously she's still a bit of a jerk and needs to be taught a lesson. Which she might, if my one theory is correct. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah. Um, season three is what I like, what I would like to call the reveal arc. So, as well as a few other things, but mostly it's the reveal arc. Um, kind of building up some characters and there's a little bit of stuff like that. But mostly what this season is going to be is putting a lot of information out there so that it uh, so that each time it builds up more and more so that by the end of the season they can do the reveal. So Ladybug and Cat Noir will look back at their past and realize, oh my gosh, Marinette is Ladybug. And Adrian is Cat Noir. I'd like to see that. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot of points where it's going to be like, um, this is obviously going to be a reveal, like Chat Blanc. I talked about it. it. It's very much likely that that is going to be Adrian revealing himself to Ladybug. Ladybug also seems like it's a possibility for her to reveal her identity to Adrian, but I don't know. Um, the only issue is that this kind of has to happen at some point. Um, because they don't know their identities yet. Um, if you actually look in the comic, then it does actually say that, oh, yeah, I can, we can reveal our identities, but it's actually like, no, we really can't. Um, but that's what, uh, so that's, uh, so the comic, tech, uh, once we see the reveal, we know that the comic takes place before that, and since it's in summer, we need a summer. Uh, we need to switch over to summer soon, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, there's obviously a lot of stuff that's in this that, if you look closely at the comic, you'll realize, holy crap, uh, that was shown in the the show. This is important, like um, Super Pinguino. That was in the comic as well as the, the show. Uh, as well as the show, I haven't seen anything else. The early points, it's kind of like that, but we'll see. Um, so that's season three, the reveal arc. Season four, what do I believe that's going to be? I believe that season four is going to be the Lila arc. Um, basically, helping to make her less of a jerk. Make her be a better human. Probably going to have a lot of times where she's going to get akumatized. Because she's going to want to work with Hawk Moth a lot more and stuff like that. Maybe she's going to see a lot of um, uh, akumas and take them for herself. Yeah. That sounds fun. Um, but it looks like that's a po that is definitely a possibility. So I'm not rooting it out. Um. But over time, she's going to realize, oh my gosh, I've been a terrible person. And become eventually a good person. And maybe 
get her own miraculous by the end of se- uh, by the end of the season. Um, but it would be a temporary one. She wouldn't get. Uh, what I'm thinking is that throughout season at the end by the end of season three, Alia, Nino, and Chloe will get their miraculous full time. By the end of season four, Kagami and Luca may get their miraculous full time because I'm pretty sure that they're getting Snake and Dragon. Not uh, not gonna lie. Um, and uh, so in season four they'll get theirs for full time. Well, at the end, Lila will get her miraculous for the first time, as well as a few other characters might also get their miraculous for the first time. But that's not gonna really. But they're not keeping any of their miraculous until season five, which I'm going to label right now as being the Hawk Moth arc. What do I mean by this? Basically, what I'm hoping for, and I'm not, uh, now I'm not going to say that any of this is for certain, but what I'm hoping for is a lot of episodes that's going to go back in time and deal with Hawk, uh, with Gabriel and um, Emily, uh, Emily's uh, relationship and stuff like that to really get to know him better. Um, maybe some stuff with Adrian when he was little. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But stuff like that. That would be really cool. But also, other episodes in this will be something like um, uh, Adrian and Ladybug, since they will know their identities by this point, will be looking for other people to become full-time Miraculous users. Or at least temporary, so that they can at least train them so that they can battle Hawk Moth at the very in the very last three episodes because I do want it to be a three parter for the final showdown. But yeah, they they could have a three parter where it's um something like battle against uh, Mayura, battle against Hawk Moth where they lose, battle against Hawk Moth where they win. I would like to, that 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 sounds fun because. Um, he might use the wish, screw up time, screw up everything, and then they stop him, restore everything back to the way it was, and um, we get a new villain, maybe revealed. Um, I would like to see that. But the thing is that they before they do anything relating to the final battle they have to reveal they have to reveal their identities so see that's one of the reasons why season three has i'm 100 percent certain that's going to be the one where they're going to reveal their identities season four is going to have a lot of relationship stuff where they're going to be in a relationship lila's probably going to get pissed kagami's probably going to get pissed luca might get a few uh, might get pissy but he's a little bit more okay with it um, so those three will probably get akumatized a few times. Chloe is hopefully going to be better, so she's going to be not akumatized, hopefully. But it's mostly going to be a lot of Lila getting akumatized, because she's going to see other people getting upset, stick around, or she's going to piss other people off, just so that she can steal their, uh, the, um, the Akuma for herself, become a new supervillain, and really make Hawk Moth stay, and that's gonna uh, and over time that's it's gonna be less and less. But she will eventually become Hawk Moth's lackey, or she will become. Uh, she might become Ladybug and Cat Noir's friend, and apologize for all of her stupid mistakes, and then leave because I don't want to see her ever again. I'm not sorry. Lila is a terrible human being. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think is going to happen for the future of Miraculous down in the comments below. And stay tuned because on Friday, I'm releasing my guest on Bakerix. But on, guys.